it has a library uh, which provides you high level performance for uh, data analyzations, manipulations and wrangling or cleaning or whatever you need with your data as you can see, right? We are going through all the data sets, all right? So this is the kind of a Floss library. Floss, you might be familiar, right? That is free library, open source and software, right? The installation part of the pandas is very easy. What you require is just to write import pandas in case of a Jupyter as PD or whatever you are familiar with, you can write, okay? Now, like if you are installing it in Windows, if you are not using the Anaconda, if you are using something else as ideally, in case you are using PyCharm, you can go through like how to install there, right? Otherwise, you can simply write in your CMD, that is pip install pandas, all right? Okay. Or for the Anaconda, if it is not there, then you can write conda install pandas. Both will be working, right? Now, I have installed in my so PC, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write import pandas as pd, right? And that's it. Let's just wait for a second. So, okay. Then next we'll see that what exactly the versions we are going to use, right? So I'm sharing the screen. And the audio, right? So let's print the pandas version is equals to pd dot underscore underscore version and that is 1.0.1 Okay, so this is like for the installation stuff. Now in the pandas, we will be discussing with the data structures. Now data structures has been divided in three of the kinds, right? So the first is, data structures yeah so I said we have three of the kinds right so what are the three kinds anyone can tell we have series we have data frames and we have panels sorry that's panels we have panels okay and this is frames mostly we will be dealing up with the series and data frames Basically, series is just what you did in the last previous two classes or like one class, the numpy. Okay, and in the data frames is something regarding that also numpy basically in the two dimensions. Okay, the numpy will discuss regarding the dimensions. In the series, we have 1D arrays and all we can say on, and in the, in the data frames, we have 2D. Okay, in the panels, we come with the three dimensions and all. So, let's make a dictionary. Okay. So let's say this is my uh, data structure. So I'm just writing ds equals to making a dictionary. One, just a moment. Uh, okay, I type this is fine. All right. So first is like um, I'm making the keys and the values like that. Okay. So data structures are of three kinds. So we'll write the first one is series. Second, the data frames, so, and the third is the panel. Okay. Now, what are the dimensions? Dimensions are one D, two D, and three D. Okay. That's it. It's done. Right. So. In the pandas, what happens now? In the uh, dictionaries, we go if we go with that, right? What will say that what are the keys we are having? This will print ds dot keys. Then we have data structures and dimensions. Now, what are the what are my data structures? So I'll go like ds how data structures. We will get series, data frames, and panels. Then you can make uh, the multiple 
keys of the series of the data frames and of the panels like if you want with that okay this can be done now so let's see like how this goes in the pandas in pandas mostly will be looking on to the series and the data frames and you get a, some kind of a tabular sheets and all you will be looking on right so in general i'm just showing you right now uh, you can just write pd dot not storing this okay just printing this what is that ps so uh it is must be of same length is it not one two three statement one two three one two three yeah fine what's the problem there okay 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 it should be three Mm, then we can say description and we can say it as 1d mm, you can say it as homo array homogeneous array 1d labeled homogeneous array and you can say the second one as Two D homogeneous array, and third one is like three D new chip array. Okay, and let's see if it works. I think that was a problem. Array must be of same length where exactly uh, data index columns data is having. Three of the keys and one, two, three. One, two, three. Is there any more commas? One, two, three. Hmm. Okay. Series. Okay, that's the problem. Here is something missing. No, it's fine. So DS, what you can see here is now data structures and their dimensions. So series is, are of one dimensions, homogeneous array, data frames two dimensions, homogeneous array, and panels of the major with 3D arrays. Okay. Now let's go regarding the series with the very first one. Okay. Let's discuss the series. So what we do in series? Series are a one-dimensional array-like structure with uh, some homogeneous data. Homogeneous data, like when we talk regarding the NumPy, what you have seen there, what what is a unique thing there? That is the homogeneity, right? That if it is a float, then every of the number will be a float, like not like a list, right? Okay. So we'll also require NumPy when we deal with the pandas. So I'll also import this. Now, suppose we say that we want a range of numbers from 1 to 6. What we do is just, we just write print np dot a range of numbers from 1 to 6. And we get like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Similar. Now, the same thing when we want to write in the pandas, like in the series. What we say, see, the normal way of creating a series is just like pd dot series that's the function basically here you can write three parameters basically data index and the data type okay now for now we are removing this just making an empty series so this is series and data type by default you get float 64 okay future version you can say on like However, it is written over there in the above, you can see. Okay. Now, series can be created with vectors, like with the layers, with the tuples, with the uh, numpy arrays, with the dictionaries, right? So, let's create with everything. Let's see. So, creating uh, series with numpy. Okay. Numpy array. 
now uh, let's say my first array is or directly I'm writing my first CD is now see guys uh, I talked regarding the three parameters data index and d type right so if I write data data is equals to now what exactly your data is you have to write like so I'm writing my data what I'm going to make it like so that is a one I'm going to make this one right now okay so a range of one to seven okay now next comes the data has been here right next comes the index what exactly is index we'll talk about later right let's see first so this is s1 I want to see my s1 as well as I want to see okay I'll get the data types also yeah so I see my s1 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 on the left hand side from 0 to 5 is the index number of 1 to 6 basically that is clear right no doubts in this one and the data type we are getting integer of 64 any doubts to anyone no doubts to anyone see pandas is very important because in the machine learning concept also when we'll be dealing with the models we'll, we'll see that the data are very important to handle actually if you don't clear your data if you don't clean your data how can you train your models so things are very important to learn in the panda section so if you have any kind of doubts you can ask or oh, i can see omkar have a doubt on the question yesterday test question number three Okay, Omkar will uh, go on it later after the class, okay? Okay, sir. So, uh, range has been clear, right? The very first one that is using the number. Now, we can see that the index number has been automatically given, right? From 0 to 5, like that. Now, what if I don't want this? Right? What if I don't want this? In, in that case, what can I do? So I'll be creating a new series where my data is going to be same. I'm just making it as array. Mm, that should be a range of one, two, three. Okay. And I say my index now to be A. All right, let's run. Uh, we haven't printed. Let's print it. Print test two, and there we see the numbers and the index. All right, so that is still the fine. Okay, you can see the index as well as the uh, values. Okay, I think that is clear. Now, apart from index and the uh, the data, what you write, you see the data type coming there, right? Now, if you define your own data type, that will be different action, right? So, uh, let's say, let's copy this, sprint here. So, I'm writing my data type is equals to. Um, Uh, float is not defined all right so s3 should be s3 and there you see 1.0 2.0 3.0 and the same things all right i hope there must be no problems regarding the all the three parameters any problem regarding any parameters No, sir. All right, still here. I think it's fine. Right now, see, dictionaries plays a very important role, like right, uh, in data and all. Right, so I'm just taking one data and we'll go through that just a moment. Where it is? One second. TST AMT eleven. TST AMT eleven. Where is it? Where it is? Just a second.
E S T E N G eleven. Here you might get the things. Okay. All right. So see, I'm uh, pasting one dictionary, right? So you can see batting average of Indian players as like a name of a dictionary and there you can see the many uh, many keys are the mu keys multiple keys like that is one player having all the different players names and then the span and then the matches innings numbers runs and highest scores uh, average and all the things right so uh, things are there right so this is a dictionary basically you can see right there right Oh, sorry, one second. It is fine now? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. So, this is a dictionary site, and there are multiple values. The dictionary which? Okay, yeah, someone is saying something, yeah. Which type of dictionary is this? Nested dictionary. Type of dictionary, I'm asking. Nested one, nested one. A kind of dictionary you are asking, right? Yes. Yeah, so it is a nested dictionary. You can see, like, so what, are, what are these data? The span? Uh, see, and basically, uh, this this has been taken from uh, one like, what was it, that site, T20 something like of website. From there, there was a table, right? And there we took the these uh, the player span match innings oh, is okay. nothing but the columns of that table okay so for the particular columns all the values has been given up there right Just a second. like that has been taken okay so this is a dictionary let's run this and i should rename it actually it's a very big name so batting average Indian players will be batting average Indian players. That's fine. B A I P small. Yeah. So uh, for getting all the keys, basically all the keys of your dictionary are always all the columns in the data frames or in the series whenever you talk about. So uh, what all the columns are exactly? We'll be writing print the B A I F dot keys. And batting Indi Indian batting, what is it that it is B A I P? Okay, so B A I P dot keys. So we have players, span, matches, innings, numbers, runs, H's, average, PF, SR, 150, 0, 4, and 6. Okay, that's fine, right? So all these are the columns basically. Now, how to see, see the columns? Now, if we just print a the uh, data like if you just say like if you make a series of this how will make it just writing uh, like uh, let's say s is equals to pd dot series of the what is that b a i p b a i p okay that is it. and if we just print this s so what do you see all the columns and the respective values there all right that is fine right we'll go on this one later on right let's proceed now okay so this is how we make a series with the uh, range with the uh, list like for the, with the list how we can make it speedy dot series and easily with the like uh, with the dictionary you saw right how we make a series with the dictionary i give a long dictionary and from there we have made a series uh, so all the column values or you say all the key values will be your index and rest of these will be your values and with the list it is like uh, let's say one two three four five and that's easy all right so list numpy dictionary doubles out things are fine all right next 
so in the series we can make uh, like a range of numbers or we can add a range of numbers like uh, let's say s2 is something like pd dot series and we make it like a we make it 10 20 uh, okay 0 let it be 0 10 20 30 40 and 50 okay so all these are series right now and we'll take s3 s3 will be pd dot a series of uh, let's say from 0 itself right so 0 10 20 30 40 50 and let's take one more that is 60 okay now what is the thing that what i'm talking about in the numpy what we do is just simply adding up the things and we get the res results right now if the shape is not the exact of the two arrays or the two series if its shape is not equal then the addition was not possible in the numpy right but in case of a series what happens like uh, if if you say print here what is the shape uh, like what is the size having in the first s2 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the s3 we have 7 so if we say s2 plus s3 we run this we get the values of it right what is the sixth column or what is the sixth row is having actually is none that is not a number basically right why because in the first one you see till from the first till the second what you see is till five everything is fine okay after the fifth number there there is nothing to be added like 0 0 20, 10 10 20 20 40 30 60 40 80 and 50 100 that is fine and in the 60th one, in the S2, there is nothing, 0, even 0, it is not there, right? So, if it is nothing over there, how can you add something with that, right? So, that is why we are getting in the 6th position, NA, and that is not a number. Is that clear, everyone? Don't have doubts on this, why we are getting an N. Yes, sir. All right, nice. So, whatever the operations you go for, subtraction, multiplication, division, you will be getting NAN because there is nothing a number over there, right? So accessing data from the series is also like easiest one because see when you will be dealing with when we will be going in the machine learning they will be dealing with the data and with the data we will be going with some of the particular columns. Now when we go with the columns we actually deal with the series basically right. So like accessing data from the series how do we get it like access uh, data from series All right. Now we have S2 and S3. If I say like uh, print S2 of 0, there is a parenthesis error, and that's it. Right? So that is exactly 0. So if I say minus 3, that will be an error, right? Kind of like because I am having, what I am having is, see, in the S2, I can keep a range between there, that would be fine. You cannot really give in just a negative indexing and all right like that. And the same if you go for S3. So if we say like uh, print S2 of 3 to everything plus S3 of uh, 3 to 5. Is that error? No. So that is like this, right? S3 of 2 to 5, like this. So, data can be accessible from this, right? So, uh, let's say if I'm having a series S, if you see S, right? So, if I say S of 2, 2, 5, is that done, right? 2, 2, 5, 2, 3, and 4, the matches, innings, and the numbers, right? So these are the things. Like, when you want to retrieve only the innings, how will you do? Those are the things, actually. We'll see on it further onwards, all right? Now, you can see, uh, like, uh, retrieve multiple items at once like if I'm talking about the S now what if I only want the player name their matches played and their runs made now in that case what should I do should I print everything for one by one like that no right so what I'll do is should I print it like uh, print uh, the what is that zero and then the 2 and then the 3, 4, 5. Should I go with like S of 0, 2 and 5? Error? Key error? Why? Because indexings are not 0, 2 and 5. What are the index values? Players, span, matches and all. 
right so what here i have to do is here basically i'll have because it is a 2d one right for a dictionary we'll have to make a two brackets like in the case of numpy we do then we have to write the player then we have to write the matches and the runs you see all the three cards the player No doubts still here. Having doubts, you can ask Dice. No, sir. Fine. Now, moreover, we can go for median, we can go for mean, we can go for the sum, we can go for the max, we can go for the mean. All right, all these things. Now, that is like np dot mean. If I say mean of, I uh, mm, should take an S3, that 30.0, np dot median of S3 that is 30.0 or um, let's say just like you're having sum of S3 it's 210 right max of S3 min of S3 right okay 60 zeros and all sometimes student ask like when what to do when we use modes how to find mode right so for finding mode you have to bring the statistics like from stats uh, once again from scipy import that is this import stats st statistics and you can print uh, stats dot mode off like from there you can go for the mode right So stats start mode of S3 or uh, should we get the results? Yes. Yeah. A zero is the one. Okay. Count error is one. You know exactly what mode defines, all right? So these are the things in the series will be going on it later onwards. Like let's go with the data frames. Let's not just stand back. Alright. Now in case of data frames, these are actually the very cool things. <laughs> the data science things are in the data structures when you do so in the data frame the structure is something like you write pd dot data frame d capital f capital and then you write data you write index you write their columns you write uh, their data types moreover you can make any index as the column and moreover various things can be done all right so these are the things so let's go ahead okay so these are the actual things what you can write in the data frames okay now we'll simply write pd dot data frame done this that's it no data is actually it's a blank underscore will come over there okay now so uh, let's first understand that what we have created what the batting uh, average we have taken there B A I P I think right B A I P bat okay let's see so that B A I P exactly what it is right so I'm just writing P D dot the data frame of B S that's it so my data is however you don't need to write every time your data is something equals to right you can just write S or something like that. If you write that your data is equals to s, that is also fine. So data is equals for now. It is equals to s, right? And we'll run this. So what we get here is something like player and the values and the span and the matches, the innings. Why we are not getting the exact results? Because we have taken the data as a series one. Now what if we take exactly the B A I P value? I think B A I P will get exactly the columns how we see on the televisions and all, right? Right? The player, their span, the matches, innings, number, runs, and all. Uh, basically a kind of an excel sheet you can say on your python right so these are the things so all these were written in the kind of a dictionary right so you should uh, be able to write everything in the case like in the type of any format if you talk regarding the HTMLs, regarding the and the conversions are pretty very easy actually here now what if i want to convert this total thing in html what i have to do exactly 
anyone can tell me like if you have been given a task of writing all these things in a html how would long you take this how long you will take anyone just an approx value anyone can tell mm -hmm. quick guys using html it will take like 10 minutes more than 10 minutes mm. only 10 minutes all right Anyone more? Having hands on HTML? 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 30 minutes? 15, 15. 15 minutes. All right. Five minutes more has been exceeded. Anyone more? All right. See, even the Python, uh, can you tell how much time it will take to convert these things in HTML? Yes, sir. Yeah. How much time? So it takes like it will. Uh, we will pass a value called uh, pd dot two html. It will convert the whole so yeah. HTML. Okay. Exactly. Like so, uh, not pd. <laughs> they it will get wrong actually. So the pd dot html is not that right. That is the total data frame dot two html something like that. Like we are having we haven't named this right. So let's say it has df data frame and let's see it there in the df and now we'll say df2 underscore of html and let's write this as a padding average ba dot html and run this and i check my directory let's go to our directory where it is hmm. training data science share this tab and you can see here is ba dot html all right let's open this and you see the table all right moreover you can uh, modify actually okay so what all the functions are in the pandas will be going through like print the directory of pd all these things but there are more than that also i think exactly so these are the basics what you should go uh, undergo basically of the pandas all right so that are the things all right next going ahead now what if we like uh, i'm taking like with a normal dictionary right now and we'll understand with that not making like exactly like a dictionary the first we'll take on the list and then we'll say right first then we'll go ahead with that right so let's say names are there okay having a quick uh, example so that everyone can understand so names are there like uh, a b c and d and let's say there are marks in the physics, chemistry, and mathematics. So in physics, we have like, uh, let's say 68, 79, 87, 69. Okay. In chemistry, we have marks as 89, 68, 87, and 97. And in the mathematics, let's say we have marks as mathematics would be good, right? 98, uh, 90, no, not 90, affecting much. 79, uh, 90, no, it will be, let's reduce something. 76, yeah, this will be fine. Mm, 79. And here you can write 60. No better. All right. So everything has been right written there, right? Now what I am going to do is creating a dictionary. Okay. Uh, easy process basically. So creating dictionary of of m of marks. Let's say result result press. Okay. The dictionary of result will be like in the name column. What will be having name? okay sorry yeah in the physics column we'll be having physics in the chemistry column we'll be having chemistry and in the mathematics column we'll be having mathematics easy right and so uh, let's print this Okay, don't print this. 
in the next line what we'll do is df of res will be pd dot a data frame of res and let's print this df res uh, okay remove that print one would be actually taking long so we see the name the physics the chemistry have been shortened why We see name, physics, chemistry, and mathematics. Also, right? So these are the result, right? For A, it's having 68, 89, 98, and such the things, right? Now, in case you need to see what exactly the score of A is, okay? What we'll do is just printing. Like if it is a uh, dictionary, see the rest. How will you find what exactly the score of A is? Hmm. By the by, by using of that uh, index, uh, yeah. So uh, once again, so if it is like uh, res is here, okay. Now I say that find what are the scores of A. How will you find? Using no, we can use for for that. So what should I write here? Print res of Hmm. Can you use for look like this for i n res? Print uh, <clears throat> res dot i of zero. Will it work? Let's see. Dictionary has no attribute of i. Okay. Skis. Oh, okay, okay, once again. Hmm, this will be fine. Let's see first. Mm -hmm, okay. And in ah, not exactly. So we see the I name physics keys. We should write the values. Sir, keys and values. Hmm. Like this. Or uh, we can write, I think, items. <laughs> I of zero will not be there. Yeah, values are better. So get their results over there. A68, 89, 98, in case like. You have to write that, yeah. right? Uh, but exactly in the case of uh, a data frame, that is very easy actually. We'll go in that one later, right? We'll see how it works. I, it basically, one function requirement is there, right? Now, if you have a data frame, like think of like if you're having an Excel sheet like with one, two, three, four, five columns. Basically, what is the shape of your data? What you will write? Print your uh, DF of press dot the shape so we are having four rows and four columns right one two three four yeah four rows and four columns isn't it zero one two three and one two three four as like name physics chemistry and mathematics in bcm all right now what if like we want to add a particular row in our data so like if it is a case if it is a dictionary kind of thing or even if it is a data frame what we have to do is we have to make a dictionary like new row all right and then we'll have to make the same things let's say let's copy up this and we'll paste it here so let's say name is now e equals to e. So till d we have, yeah. Physics marks is, let's say, 60. Chemistry, let's make it 79. And mathematics, let it be 90. Okay. So this is the new row right now. What you have to do is you have to 
append this basically okay you have to append this row to the data frame so like the list what we do right so df of rest is equals to will be df underscore of rest dot append what you have to append is new row that's it done okay and you have to write something over there that is to ignore the index as the true if you don't write the new data frame has the index of zero so that will be actually a uh, default kind of a thing wrong wrong it will be okay so ignore index is compulsory you have to write that thing otherwise it may problems further else, right so that is being done let's see the df of res so we have a new column e So every time we we want to add a new row, we have to do this. Like uh, you make all the new rows, or like if you are making a forever program, you can use while loop there, while true, and then you keep it there. Like for every time when you need a new row, it automatically adds up there. Yeah. Okay. So df of the rest is something like uh, I should remove this exactly. Df underscore of press uh, looks better. All right. Now this is like uh, somehow how we can add a particular row in our data. Now what if we want to add a column in our data? That is actually very easy to add a column in our data. That would be our data. All right. Now for uh, columns, it is very easy. Like uh, we are having physics, chemistry, mathematics. Let's write. Um, computer science okay so new column would be having values so let's say 98 let's say uh, 79 69 mm, 90 68 uh, 79 something around there one two uh, we have one two three oh one two three four five yeah so five uh, values are there five rows are there so the five, one two three four is six is there one two three four five five is better one two three four five okay now what we have to do is just df of rest and write inside the square brackets what is the value of this is computer science like this okay uh, this should be mp and this will be equals to the new column you have been added there right just a moment I'm coming So this is the new column, okay? And let's run this df of press and see here it looks like df underscore of press. That is computer science has been added up there. Okay, so row and columns. Now you have understood how to add, how to see. Now if you want to see that how many columns you have added, uh, how many exactly the columns you are having, the simplest word, the simplest method is just a print the df of press dot the columns that's it so we are having name physics chemistry mathematics computer science and the data types are the object now what exactly are our index values is df of res dot the index mm, df of res dot the index and then you get the index like it starts from 0 stops at 5 and goes with a stepping number of 1 all right that is clear right now there is a function called as apply okay apply function right now what if like if i say uh, okay coming back to the same question previous one uh, where were we like when we say that how to go for finding up the values of a all right there is a function called as i at i locate locate at and all will be going up through there okay now what if like guys if i want to find what is the total percentage of individual ones how will find that Anyone like how we find the percentages? Adding the whole marks we got uh, by divided by the total marks into hundred. Yeah, that's fine. So how do we we are going to do that? We are having A marks is there written, B marks has been 
included in there, C is in there, D is in there, A, E is in there, right? How are we going to do that? Anyone else? Everyone is sleeping out there? What about the next? Every rest of the guys? Dilip, Roshan, Pyle, Rajdeep, what you guys are doing? Are you understanding the facts? How things are going on? Yes, yes sir. Alright, I think you are feeling sleepy. Anyone's feeling sleepy out there? See, it's an interesting topic. If you are feeling sleepy, drink a cold glass of water, it will be fine. Alright? Okay, so uh, finding up like percentages. Someone said that so percentages can be uh, given out like finding up the sums of physics plus the chemistry plus the mathematics plus the CS and divided by uh, like the total marks whatever it is okay like that right okay multiplying divide a hundred and multiplying with that be giving with the total marks like the one two three four so four hundred multiplying it by hundred like this something yes okay I'm just giving the fact right don't go with like I have not written the complete thing okay so PCM CS by 400 multiply by 100 will give me my values Yes. Cool. So what exactly I'll be doing is I'll be using the apply function because that will be giving me my results. How? Like see. What I'll do is first I'll see that who has got the maximum number of marks. Like if you want to see those things, you can go with that. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is df of res all right like uh, np how, why are you using np use apply so df of res dot apply let's say uh, if we write that thing that is marks of individual physics, chemistry, maths and biology. So we'll write the np dot sum basically, right? Sum of on the axis np dot sum on the axis of zero. Yeah, zero. Zero, zero, zero. So let's see first. Some discuss mission one prediction like one and say eight. Uh ABCD is not a valid function for C. Okay, okay. We'll have to remove that basically. ABC thing yeah. What dress is there? Just a moment. MP dot is the sum being given parameters in our data type. Well, okay, elements A. Elements to sum. Yeah, okay. So that was an error of elements to giving in the sum. Sum of Hmm. Okay. Hmm. One. All right. Press of values from will not come. Okay. It is giving. Now, what if we write x is equals to 0? 1 was the thing. So, 0 has got 353. That's exactly the fact. Let's cut it out. And sir, sir. Yeah. Uh, what is axis? I'll let you know. Just a moment. Let me first write it. Uh, numpy dot sum. TFL press. Printed. No results. Ah. TF 
of press is the thing applying it there, not getting the results. Okay, let's just paste it. We are getting for the zero, it's okay. We are having index numbers from zero, it's fine. So, uh, 353305, uh, 311, 316, 297, and all things are there. Okay, so I also say that in the starting, that in the data frames what we can do we can write an index column or we can write the index uh, from the data itself right if we want to make our index as the or if we want to make our column exactly as the index we can make it that also right you can just write uh, like index equals to this and you'll be getting that as the index in case of that you will make it as the index so that it would be easy right to find up the apply using apply and all would be better okay all right that is not a issue let's go ahead with that so we are getting the result as like the zero has got 350 and all right okay all this now what if we do the same thing like finding the sum and if we do it is like multiplying by uh, dividing by 400 all right so we got the percentages over there for the a 88.25 176.25 we'll go with various functions guys okay one by one there are a lot of functions to deal with actually and sir, there is one doubt. Why it is there that x is 1? This is 1 for the column, one, no, sir. <laughs> see, 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 see. If I make an array, alright, uh, just a moment. What example I can give you is, uh, alright, fine, that will be okay. If I make a 3, let's say, in p dot n array, and to the array I'm making 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, alright, I make a 4. And np dot array, and I make it as so uh, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and one. Okay. Now, if I say that a three plus a four, a three plus a four, it is giving the result, all the things, right? Now, what if I concatenate this? Concatenate a three. Okay, like. A3 and A4. So what do you see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 and all, right? Here you can write Xs. Now what is Xs equals to 0? The same result. Right? What is 0 stands for? Yes. The same results. What you are seeing is the row-wise concatenations. Now what if I write 1? This is a column-wise concatenation. And what we need exactly here is the column-wise do we need row wise not understanding the thing see we are having a data frame all right what we need is right finding up all the values and then printing it in the column way not in the row way something like okay for that we are using one all right okay again if i say for uh, vertical and horizontal you understand right Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. You are getting this answer. Okay, you are getting less. That's fine. All right. So we have various functions. We'll be going through it like later on. Us from tomorrow, we'll be going out through. So with all the things like whatever we have discussed today, like with the arrays and with all this, you go with some of the functions what we have discussed and try to make some good arrays. Like okay, so your task is like uh, you go on to the. Let me stop your this video.